Hey guys, so many people don't believe that the fourth dimension actually exists. They believe that the third dimension is the largest dimension of them all. Um, they believe that the fourth dimension and respectively bigger dimensions are things of science fi fiction and they don't actually exist. They're just not there. Um, the reason why they don't believe in them is that they can't imagine them. It, it just seems impossible. How can there be anything bigger than one dimension, two dimension, three dimension, and of course, time? Um, with that being said, we technically kind of live in four dimensions ourselves. Um, mind you, there's a difference between space and time. Uh, they're two different types of dimensions. Um, the reason why they can't picture the fourth dimension is because nobody can. Nothing in a three-dimensional world um, can depict or imagine a four, fourth dimension. Um, there is a way that we can get close to imagining it, but we absolutely cannot. So, I will show you how to come close um, to depicting the fourth dimension. Uh, but f before I do that, let's make sure you actually know what our dimensions are. Earlier I said we live in four dimensions. Um, X, Y, Z, and then of course time. Um, length, width, depth, time. Um, time is not necessarily a dimension because it is not constant. Um, it is in the category of dimensions, uh, but it does change and it's different. Uh, depending how fast you're going. Time does warp every time you move. Um, so it's kind of very weird. Um, so our dimensions. Imagine this is a single dimension. Just pretend there's no height to it. It's just width. Um, a creature in this dimension would only be able to move back and forth. He wouldn't know he or she, whatever it is, the creature wouldn't be able to look up or down or even know that those existed, um, which is kind of cool. Um, then, so that's the first dimension. The second dimension is a whole bunch of single dimensions, infinite number of single dimensions stacked on top of each other, like this. So now there's height. So the creature can move left to right, up, down, and any combination of that in between. So basically it can move 360 degrees from where it was started. Um, now, running out of toothpicks here, um, the third dimension is you take a whole bunch of these and stack them on top of each other. Um, like you keep putting, so like there, you have infinite two-dimensional planes stacked up on top of each other to make three dimensions. Um, cool thing about dimensions is that you don't actually see in your own dimension. Humans like to think they see in three dimensions when we actually only see in two. We can dip, not we can't sense depth, um, but we know it's there. Um, because uh, things grow and shrink because look at these these are the same length but this one covers the entire screen the entire width of your screen while this one barely covers any of it they're the same length so and that's how we depict depth is um the size relative to distance. Um, if something were to expand perfectly, um, at like in an equal rate to the distance it was going away from you, then we wouldn't be able to tell how far away it is or even that it was moving at all. Um, the only other way we could really notice that it was moving as if lights or features on it changed or if we had say a depth find or a range finder what else uh, 
kind of a vast subject. Um, so yeah, same thing goes for two dimensions. Two dimensions, just flip to a new note here. All right, two dimensional creatures would only see in one dimension. Which raises the question, what would a one-dimensional creature see? Would it be, like, the equivalent to a pixel? Like, a, like on a TV, you have, like, columns of pixel, columns and rows of pixels, but, so, like, a row of pixels would be one dimension. You have a whole bunch of them stacked on top of each other, that'd be like two dimensions. So if you singled out a single pixel, would that be kind of like the origin of dimensions? I'm not sure. That's kind of, it's a gray area that, again, we cannot, we, you can't look too far down the dimensions. Um, so that's my question to you, if any of you know what's lower than one dimension. Do you know, is it the origin of dimensions? I don't really know. But, um... Alright, after that. Um, yeah, so like I said, we live in three spatial dimensions uh, and one time dimension. Um, so we cannot like imagine the fourth dimension. Um, although four-dimensional creatures would be able to see all three dimensions. Uh, they'd be able to see through things without but not like, not like x-ray vision, where you see through something. They'd actually be able to see every single m molecule of the thing, seeing all of them at the same time. It's, like, again, you can't, the human brain cannot picture it. Um, but we know it happens. Um, I'm not saying that there are creatures outside of the third dimension, because we honestly don't know. We know that there's not two-dimensional creatures um, that we can see. Um, there might be two-dimensional and one-dimensional creatures, we just wouldn't be able to see them. Um, we're not sure. So, alright, so you want to see the fourth dimension, the closest you can get to imagining it is take three cubes every line it, it's not like alright so you have let's build the fourth dimension you have one dimension and then if you stack a whole bunch of those on top of each other you have two dimensions you have height now if you go like this one second kind of go like that. It's a crude drawing of a cube. Um, you have three dimensions. And this is where people get lost. You think, oh, well, I can just add more three dimensions. Well, you really can't. Um, because if you just added them together and blocked them together, kind of like you did with the two and the three dimension, or the two and the f second and the third, my god, um, if you just blocked them together, kind of like you did with the first and second dimension, um, you would just be stacking third dimensions on top of each other. And that doesn't really make sense, because you just have third dimension, the same thing you were, had already. Um, it doesn't, it's like Lego. Um, so you can't do that. So what you need to do is you need to make three cubes, where all adjacent lines are perpendicular each corner has three lines going to it each corner is connected to every other corner like see what I'm saying it you can't imagine it um, this the shape I'm talking about is called the tesseracts um, just google it if you want I'll put a link down below of a Google shirt, the Google search of the tesseracts. Um, like as I said before, you cannot imagine uh, the fourth dimension. Nobody can. You can come close, but like I said, it'd be like this cube. 
it's not actually a cube. It's not close to being a cube. It's a one-dimensional, one-dimensional, I put that in brackets because the paper and the ink does have height, but we can't actually notice the height, so let's just pretend it's one-dimensional representation of a third dimension. So, you see my problem. Um, anyway, so I hope that kind of cleared things up. The fourth and fifth... The fourth and... There could be infinite number of dimensions. Um, problem being, there isn't actually... Nothing can be infinite. Um, there isn't an infinite number of anything. Eventually, we will run out. Um, everything is finite. Which kind of presents a problem. If you... If you have a whole bunch of... Uh, I'm sorry. If you have a whole bunch of single dimensions stacked on top of each other, why can't you just keep going upwards or downwards or relative to what you were already doing? Um, not that there is any specific up, down direction. It could be like this. Um, why can't you just keep expanding and add, adding? And that's because each dimension is slightly curved. Not enough that we would ever be able to notice it. So that single dimension is actually more of a circle. Two dimensions are kind of more... More of a perfect... When you round it out, it actually makes a perfect sphere. Uh, the third dimension is... We can't picture that. We can't picture the third dimension. See? Our limitations. It's frustrating. Um, because, like, like physicists are marveling over this, and they're trying to figure it out, but they can't. Trust me, they're not going to. Um, but, yeah, so, like, try to imagine... You take three dimensions and you curve it, but those dimensions are infinitely wide, so you can't... Or, you see, nothing can be infinite, and yet, how can it stop? Where does it stop, and why does it stop? Why can't you just keep going? <sighs> so weird. So, that would mean there's just more and more dimension. It just keeps going bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's the only problem with this, is that eventually it will stop because nothing is infinite but where does it stop and why where and why oh my god no but um seriously though so if anybody knows the answer as to like or can at least share some ideas as to where it would stop and why it would stop uh please share them in the comments below make sure you subscribe um by the way, I'm ending the video now because I'm running out of space. Um, but please subscribe button still up there um, because I'm going to have a lot more videos like this uh, 